Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh boy. Here you go. Say, say good morning. Welcome to the Duck Call Room. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Welcome to the Duck Call Room. We've got Whoa. guests. Are you ready, bud? Oh, okay. Oh, camera boy. shy? You're not camera shy. I know better. So he was hanging out, playing, talking to everybody, and as soon as we said, let's go. We may have to let him down. Hey, I let him crawl. All right. This is a pretty safe environment, so bye. Bye. Sai, your microphone and headset are not on. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. This is worse than having Sai What it's like to have twins. Hold on. Sai doesn't even put his headset on. It's chaos. So we have guests in the house today. Special post-Halloween stayed up all night. Yeah, Eating we're, candy, we're one year old. Our now we got little blue shards of paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. They don't put everything in their mouth right now. Life, life at the Martin house. Ladies this and gentlemen, the Martin exactly twins. Yeah, Casey, oh, our life new trick. Life. And Brittany's in the house, and one of them's doing flips. Now, which one is this? That's Jackson. Jackson's doing flips on the ground. He's become obsessed with standing on his head, basically. We're going back to Jackson. And Waylon is just staring at that bell. Oh, now he's eating the bell. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This no, is it's it. oxygen math. That's pretty much how life goes. Jackson's right. into everything, and Waylon's pretty chill. So he's 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 practicing for Top Gun. They're annoyingly different. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. And we have Britain. We oh, have, and we've got the, and we've got mom. And yeah, we've got hi. mom in the house. Hi. Mom to a couple of one-year-olds. What an interesting it. way to start this. One. I've never sat like this during the podcast, so this is new. I like this. Oh, okay. What are you doing, son? Oh, you know what's in there. So did we go trick-or-treating last night? We did. We did do that. We were Buzz and Woody. Buzz and Woody? I'll let you figure out from their size difference who was who. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we went with body type. Yeah. yeah. We had to do that with Mario and Luigi one year, so yeah. it makes sense. We typecast them. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Except Buzz kept saying to the buffet and beyond instead of yeah. infinity. Yeah. He, ate, he ate like half a bowl of gumbo last night. First time having it, and he smashed. smashed. So he's not the Tennessean. He's, yeah. he's got the Louisiana. Hey, in I'm a Tennessean, and I love gumbo too. Yeah, and Waylon ate like a cucumber or something. I don't know. It's Tennessee. Of they're they're <laughs> so. I mean, that's why I said they're annoyingly different. The only thing they really like together are these cheese balls. So, Well, who doesn't like that? Yeah. yeah. And those are like healthy cheese balls. It's weird. They're very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. Do we need to? Pip corn. Do we need to? If y'all are listening. I was just about to say. <laughs> Is this a thing? Y'all got y'all start on Shark Tank. We're, hey, we're, we're shamelessly saying. Our babies saying, love your puffs. <laughs> yeah, we're eating like $20 a week worth of those things. Good so, night. Of course, everything's expensive, but. My kids eat Cheetos and then they brush their teeth in the middle of the bag and it disturbed me when I saw that. <laughs> Ugh. Ew. Yeah. Hey, right, where that are one, you going? Where one's... are you going? Oh, there's a baby walking towards or crawling towards me. Oh, oh there we go. He's your responsibility he now. Okay. Oh, you going to say Uncle Si? Oh, hey. boy. Oh, Lord. Hey, you going to say Uncle Si? Hey, you going to come He's not me? scared. He'll do whatever dangerous hey. thing is available. Back there's there. a baby <laughs> underneath my chair talking he to He said, what have I run into? And, but he's he not said, aborting. He Look said, at him. He's he going said, straight to it. America's said, what? favorite uncle, yeah. y'all. Hey, what is this? Look at that. Oh, I hope oh, that. He just Good crawled friend. around and went straight around me, straight hey, to Si. What Watch in how, the world is are they best feeding friend? you? Watch how quick he grabs that beard. Hey, it's what coming. are they feeding you? Oh, he's going for the <laughs> mic, not the beard. Y'all, you can't have that. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, yeah. Hey, go ahead, take it. I hope he's got a dirty diaper. Go ahead, take it. Si, our rule is if he's got a dirty diaper, whoever's got him's got to change him. So. That's what you're looking at? Yeah. <laughs> See, you so, now, I don't hold my interest. All right, he gone again. Get out of here, boy. So I said, I'm out. So this is oh. what y'all go through for like 12 hours a day? Yeah, 12 to 15 hours a day. This is pretty much it. It's just constant. <laughs> it, this one said, I want down, but when you put him down, he's like, I, I, I didn't really want that. Because I remember one. Here you go, bud. He had to have one more look, and he said, he's weird. Oh, when you didn't let him have that microphone, he <laughs> said, I got to get out of here. You can have my microphone. He said, he's weird looking. Ah, uh, Johnny D, don't you miss it? Aren't you sad you um, went to the urologist? No, I, I haven't changed a diaper in quite some time, and I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, we face different challenges. The good news that's, is, that's the good news for you is, he's already pooped this morning, so. I'm, you can. I'm going to teach can, him to walk right here live on the I hope you do. 
No, right. no, his his legs right. are broke. He's he arched his back and said, "I'm not. You're putting me down right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, like you can't do anything but set me down." Look, Hoist so good. He I drank call it. it the starfish when he starfishes. <laughs> he just <laughs> went all out. He said, he just, "You have no choice, sir. You're going to put me down." Uh, hey, and he's bigger than me, so I was nervous that he might hit me. He is a big boy. He's he's exactly like five pounds different than his brother. Yes. That's pretty impressive to be born at the same time. Because five pounds at this age is like 20%. They were. No, 40%. 40 to 45%. Puff. Hey, that's huh? five. That five pounds seemed like ten pounds. See, all you gotta do is when stick I pick a cheese him ball up. in his mouth. Stick a cheese ball. He's eat him. He's just like a gumball machine. Just feed him, son. Just <laughs> straight feed him. This is life in general, though. Yeah. In case y'all were wondering. So this is what y'all do on a daily basis. You start something. You take a break because the kids go wild. Yep. You let them do whatever they need to do, yep. which includes playing with bottles on the floor. But look, to be fair, we've been sick for like. Four, almost five weeks. Yeah, I was going to say almost. Five. So the fact that we're here hey. is a miracle. So as twin parents, I think the best term may be surviving sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, because everything. Sometimes or seems consistently. I just realized, are you are you wearing a matching beanie of both of your children? Okay. No. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. She's on that mom and me bag hard. Hard. You like the match. Same color jacket. I'm gonna do hats. it for as long as they will allow me to. I'm only on it with fishing shirts. So. <laughs> oh, not the paper again. The paper. Oh, we did it. How did you remember that paper was? He like he likes to mess he's smart. with things. Yeah. Than that to looks way more fun than that duck from Duck Dynasty you gave him. Look at that coffee. So how would trick or treating go? Was it good? Were we? Were we restless? They were. They didn't nap well yesterday. Okay. At all. It was like maybe an hour. So I was like, this is going to be bad. It's right at bedtime. Uh, yeah. You know, we were already off the routine, but they, I think they were so amazed by just all the costumes, all the people. All the different. They were just, they were yeah. awesome. They were just yeah. rode yeah. around. They had a, a thousand of these. Okay. Water and just riding around looking at all the decorations. They loved. Yeah, they actually did. Very swimmingly well. like i was halfway dreading because me, me too their routine is like they don't well, really and we were coming off of being sick so oh, we weren't yeah. sure how they were gonna he's fired up which i think they were just as excited as us to get out of the house yes like you can hear the residual cough <sighs> they're moving way faster than the last time they were on this this program oh yeah <laughs> that one's quick i have to have eyes in everywhere i i can't oh hard the good news about it's hard to keep up hey if someone is hi it's hard it's hard it's someone is going to hit their head at least once a day hi buddy it won't be long before he's gone look at him yeah yeah hi, he, buddy. he's gonna be walking yeah. soon yeah these kids have found toys that i did not know existed in this room <laughs> oh these are gifts that we that people sent that we didn't necessarily say thank you for but <laughs> <laughs> that one's the president trump predicto ball is that a we have a huh so it's full of it's full of Donald Trump sayings. So. Oh, he's just getting predictions from the Don. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see how that goes. Now we're both, well, one's on the ground. Oh, no. Oh, mom had me, then she let me go. That's right. Hey. Oh, big boy switched over to mom now. He didn't. He never. Oh, Thomas, <laughs> he's I never dad. Oh. He's never team dad. Uh, he looks the most like you, though. Yeah. I think is why he's annoyed by me. So, hey, he just when well, nothing else will work, hey, it's let like me he put can never get full. He yeah. just consumes. And you can set your watch by his poopy diaper. Seven fifteen in the morning. The most regular baby buddy. I have ever come across him. Just my go ahead and go change him. Yeah. You ain't got to wait. Three times a day, guaranteed. Seven fifteen, just go change him. <laughs> this does tickle me to death. He's playing with a Trump toy. <laughs> that is funny. It is funny. One Nobody, day we'll tell you the story of uh, the yeah. 2020s, my friend. The 2020s. I'm just That's saying, good, nobody yes. made an Obama or Joe Biden toy. I'm just saying. They like, might have, but that was well, they, those not for fun. Like this is <laughs> this is fun. Those were made as like those definitely got sent to different podcasts. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. Who, I think who so. even made that a thing? I have no idea. I don't know. I want to take it from him and put it on the microphone, but I'm also scared of him. So we're going to let him have it. What's wrong, bud? Peek-a-boo. He didn't like the prediction. 
<laughs> oh goodness. Where are we going? He oh, has he's the got... saddest cry. It will yeah, that tug one... at your heartstrings. Oh goodness gracious. Pick him up before I do, and then he cries harder. Oh man, he's done. Yeah. He's toast. It is bad time. Yep. I think <laughs> Yeah. I think yeah. I think we can combine these two segments into one segment and we're gonna take a break. Yeah. Martin, are you good with that? Brittany? Yeah, we're gonna take a break. I'm gonna help her get them in the car seats and get them headed to a bed and some white noise. We tried. <laughs> Johnny D. Saturday night was fun for you, huh? We're going to have to tell the story on a different podcast. It was Sunday night. Yeah, I ended up back in that old ER. Yeah. How'd that, how did you did you have that medical bill in the budget? Yeah, I planned to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Cat scan everything. I said, let's sign up for that. Hey. Right now, people are confused because we hadn't told the story yet, but we will one day. Yeah. I'm glad, you know, you got to you gotta budget that thing out, but I wasn't ready for it. Yeah, well, and the cool thing is when a medical need comes up, the last thing you won't have to worry about is how you're going to pay for it. And that's where our friends over at Samaritan Ministries come in. Look. How are you paying for your health care? How's it working out? If it's working perfectly, great. If not, listen closely because Samaritan Ministries has a solution, a biblical solution. Samaritan Ministries is a community of Christians paying each other's medical bills. It's not insurance. It's assurance that you're part of a health care sharing community where members care for one another spiritually and financially when a medical needs arises. Here's how it works. You can join at any time. Your medical bills sent directly to Samaritan Ministries, and they notify fellow members to pray for you and send money directly to you for your shareable bills. Your medical bills get paid, and you'll find the comfort and prayers and encouragement from fellow members. And when another member has a need, you'll do the same for them. This isn't a faceless company. It's an opportunity for ministry. And what we love is that when a medical need comes up, you don't have to give second thought to whether the hospital or doctors and network. Samaritan Ministries is not bound by any network. So go to the place you want to go. Freedom of choice for your medical care for you or your family. That is a cool thing. Members also get access to exclusive health resources to help keep medical costs low. Samaritan Ministries is a biblical solution to health care where we can bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. And it's affordable because they're focused on ministry, not profit. You can join 80,000 Christian households across the nation sharing $30 million in medical needs every month. Become part of this community today at SamaritanMinistries.org slash duck. That's SamaritanMinistries.org slash duck. Join today. Martin, did you get them all saddled up? They go. They're a rambunctious yeah. crew you got. Well, oh. <laughs> oh, they're a lot more fun now. The problem is like they. Oh, they wanted to play. They wanted to play. And like this is playtime before nap time in the morning. So like they should be in their little room with their cars and their balls and like. Just doing the stuff. We don't have a lot of toys. We have a knife. That's not fun. Yeah. Um, I mean, we got toys, but clays. none that make noise and nothing that they're... But the one toy we had, they they used him. <laughs> Forget that. Forget all of that. See? Exactly. That's what they said. That's what that, they, that's that's what, <laughs> They and said, President Predicto works. Yeah, see? But, they said, forget all that. And we're right up on nap time, and they were up an hour past their normal bedtime last night with Halloween. So. Halloween, November 1st, I would hate to be an elementary teacher. Yes. Can and, you imagine? And I just, I don't know. It was I was scared to death about last night, but they did great. Like, not scared. I was like, man, I don't want to be the parents of those kids, you know, like. That are screaming and you drag them around like, you're going to like Halloween. You're going to trick or treat. Yeah. And they just rode in their wagon and chilled. and They're buzzing Woody, man. Yeah. We didn't do nothing. We just, we walked down the street. I didn't take them up to any houses just because there was lots of kids. We just rode down the street in the wagon looking at the costumes. Watching all that. Yeah. Having fun. That's all you got to do. They're not into Reese's yet. I don't understand people that trick or treat without kids. You can know, we, can we talk a, about that? I mean, is that something to talk about? I just, I don't understand. It's a bold thing to talk about, but I feel like it needs to be addressed. Like, stop it. Yeah, go to the grocery store and buy candy. <laughs> like, does it make you feel better that somebody gives it to you? Does that make you not feel like that unhealthy? makes me feel worse? Like, I, I mean, just go go today, especially, and buy it. So there like, were any people, pumpkin thing today is half off. Like, just. You so there were there were grown adults in your neighborhood trick or treating. Adults, there were I mean, like upper teens, low twenties, like no kids, yeah. no just no, no, no youngsters. Yeah, I'm like yeah, 
Man, I thought this was about the kids. I don't, I mean, if you want to have an adult's Halloween party, that's fine, but you ain't trick or treating. You're having a party. Somebody cooked, somebody provided something. It's just, I don't know, it was different. I, you know, but I've been the old Scrooge in our neighborhood that's before we had kids. I, lights off, TV off, blinds closed. Like, you were hiding? Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. t- the first year I was there, I had a bunch of duck calls left from an appearance that Under Armour had actually paid for. So, we didn't give them all away at the appearance, and I gave them away as trick or treat. Man, <laughs> marketing one hundred and one, marketing one hundred and one to the neighborhood. And then when I ran out, I had kids come. Are you the guy giving out the duck calls? I'm like, yeah, I'm out. Sorry, I'm out. you can go to duckcommander.com and buy. Them. Yeah, wow. now you had to buy them. Yeah, I thought about the giving out crankbaits, but the hooks uh, deterred me. Yeah, you could have. <laughs> yeah, that'd have been a bad deal. Yeah, I guess you, I really did think about it. I was like, "What if I just started handing out worms?" Yeah, worms, crickets. Like, here you go. Like, no, nah, uh, I don't know. It was just different. I, I just didn't understand the 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 grown ups with sans children. I've never been a Halloween person. Yeah, I can see that. I'm just not. I don't like. It's it. way more fun. Like I used to not understand it, but like watching their eyes light up last night, I get it. Like, I mean. And then they get to an age of what I gathered last night is somewhere around 11 or 12 where it's not cool anymore. So I'm staring down the barrel of about eight more years of this. <laughs> yeah. Carter's still into it. Yeah. Ben's, Ben's is a, my son is a genius. So si. this kid, so, you know, we're not huge Halloween people. We're very, we, you know, get your costume. What, what Carter was a stormtrooper. I don't know what Ben's was. It's something from a video game. He was red. I don't get it. There you go. Um, but, but you know, we don't have our fancy Halloween baskets. We go to McDonald's and get the Happy Meal, and that's your Halloween bucket. The bucket. Yeah. So he's carrying that around. Well, he filled that sucker up, and he was fired up about it. So then he took his mask off, Ben's did, and dumped the bucket into the mask. Well, then all these people thought he just wasn't getting much candy because his bucket was empty. Yeah. So they started piling him up. I said, this sucker, he, he walked back with a sack, a bucket. He was ready. <laughs> and I was like. I did for pretty slick. I Hey, yeah, that is pretty slick. That was unintentional slickness. I like that. Yeah, like then he good. got mad at me because I had to hold his mask full of candy, and he he I handed it back to him. He goes, "Dad, is this lighter than it was?" And I was like, "Okay, calm down." Taxes. But first off, I hate every warhead. Yeah, taxes. I, I liked it because I was flying yesterday at the airport, so we're waiting for the next flight. You know, so it was cool watching everybody that's dressed up. And have fun. Wait, time out. People traveled in Halloween costumes. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It was it was actually a three ring circus at the airport. No, no, no. I'm serious. And they, it, yeah, but it was a good thing because it changed everybody's attitude. Because most people, when you're traveling, they're all pissed off and you know just angry. Yeah, that's true. Okay, mm-hmm. so everybody was laughing and joking because like when I come up, we had a uh, a lady that was dressed up as a witch. And I said, are you Marie LeBeau from the Bayo? <laughs> she busted out life code. It was just, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. But the costumes was what got me. You know, one lady come in and she was dressed up as a witch. And, and then the dog was, the dog she had was dressed up like a ballerina dancer with a little, what is it, tutu, tutu. on? Poor dog. No, no, no. You no. know, you know. But it was hilarious watching all the different costumes. And like you said, it it went from like you know teen yeah maybe eighteen, and then up to you know grandma. I'm just not dressing. sure I like a world where people are dressing up their dogs in oh, the airport. Oh uh, no, it was it was actually <laughs> funny watching it. Okay, that is funny. Yeah, but it's oh. just wild to me that we're. But it, but what got me was the attitude they all had. Did anybody think you were dressed up as Uncle Si? No, no, yeah, because they asked it. Hey, you're dressed up like Uncle Si? I said no. I said, I, I get that all the time, but they ain't no dressed up. Yeah. Yeah, I got that last <laughs> night. They're like, you're just dressed up like yourself. I was like, no, man, I'm G.I. Joe. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man. Sticking I'm with G. the G. Toy Story thing. Yeah, I like it. Like, I'm, I'm the Army guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Army guy. But we did. I just asked. I forgot. It was so wild last night. We were at my buddy's house, and we were all just hanging out before we went to the actual trigger treat. And we walked outside, and there's a deer like a little four point spike. He was hit. Louisiana, he'd be a four point. You'd hear that deal. You can hang a ring on it. Okay. It's really a spike. It's but right. yeah. Spike with some nubs. He was standing 10 feet from the front door. 
And then he turned his head, and he had a tag in his ear. <laughs> Orange 145. I have no idea where this deer come from. Nobody does. And then he proceeded to walk up and just nudge us like until we gave him food. Martin, were you trick or treating inside a high fence? No, that's, that's what I'm telling. No, it was I was trick or treating at Indian Lake Subdivision. No, it was. And a, that's wow. The deer that cleaned us out wow. of every grape they had. Yeah. Yeah, so the boys, I just asked, I forgot to, because uh, we didn't have our phone. I mean, it just caught us all about off guard. That's we somebody's were, pet. Oh, yeah, somebody's, no, no. somebody got a high fence or something, oh, and yeah. he got out. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. he's tagged, He's he, yeah. you know, he's legal, he just loose. Yeah. And he is very tame. So yeah. That's somebody's pet. If you're in West Monroe and you listen to this, which I doubt is the case. <laughs> um, You'd be surprised. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, if we, you are and you see an orange 145 spike deer. Running around Indian Lake. Yeah. Just go up and pet him. No reason to shoot him. Yeah. Like, yeah, don't he's shoot cool. him. Just give, <laughs> he's, him, like, give him a handful of grapes. Yeah, he's tight. That deer has a name somewhere. Yeah, somebody somebody was missing him last night, no, and it no. was, but it was so he was so funny, and the boys were like, "What and, is this?" Yeah. Like they were yeah. they were fired up about it because when you feed him a grape, Waylon would just clap like he would just he would get so excited that there was a deer there eating a grape. It was where did that deer come from? No clue. Apparently, according to them, like there's been mentions of him in like their neighborhood Facebook page, the Indian Lakes subdivision, but I don't know where he come from. So Indian Lakes has got their own pet deer now. Yeah, that one. That one is a for sure pet. No, no. But the funniest thing that happened was they had just had their flower beds redone. Oh, yeah. Oh, he'll tear that up. Oh, he ate every pansy in there. Oh, no. And the guy that sold them the flower bed stuff said, oh, yeah, deer hate pansies. He ate every one of them. <laughs> every <laughs> one of them. <laughs> That was like when I was in Alabama and raised a uh, strawberry patch. And look, I've been watching it for them to get ripe. Okay, and I come home from, we went to get groceries, come home, and I bet you there was 40 cat squirrels running out of my my uh, my uh, strawberry patch. Squirrels eat strawberries? And I, uh, do they eat Oh, Every one. Really? Every one. I ate all of them. Oh, no. I, I did not get one strawberry out of that, and I mean, I had a wonderful garden full of them. How many cat squirrels do you get? Oh, no, no. Hey, <laughs> hey after that, it was, hey, it's on, boys. It's uh, a war. Y'all done started a war. My favorite thing yeah. growing up, one of my favorite things growing up as a kid, my grandparents had two pecan trees. And when them pecans would start turning, obviously the squirrels would show up. Oh, yeah. And But that meant squirrel season was open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we sat there with pellet guns and would shoot every <laughs> squirrel. And then we'd eat them. Like, it wasn't oh, no. like just oh, shooting yeah. pests. Yeah. We, Bama would make yeah. us clean them, and then we'd have squirrel and dumplings and fried squirrel, oh, no. biscuits, gravy, all that stuff. It was. Yeah, but I, I just couldn't believe it. When I pulled up in the yard, they went every direction, and I went up around. Christine said, they, it was, what was they doing? And I said, hey, you're not going to believe it. I said, they ate every strawberry I had. Just Hang cleaned on. you out. Did yeah, they taste yeah. like strawberries once you uh, Yeah. They, oh, they yeah. have a little strawberry oh, taste yeah. to it? Yeah. Hey, strawberry yeah. flavored squirrel. Oh, no, because it was a war on after that. <laughs> you <know. laughs> I bet you ate strawberry jelly with your biscuits just out of spite, didn't <laughs> I'm you? I'm telling you, I'm saying that's it. That's it. So <laughs> for dessert, is a little strawberry jelly on this. Oh, you know. man, I love it. Well, let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. Si, how you been feeling? I've been feeling pretty good. Me too. What about you? Hey, you want to know why? Why? Because we're just regular dudes that make sure we get all the vitamins, minerals, supplements, and everything we need by drinking AG1 every morning. That's it. Hey, if you're a long-time listener, you might know about it. But if you're not, we're here to tell you AG1. We've been with them for two or three years. I started drinking AG1 daily. You just feel better. You're ready to conquer your day, Si. Are you ready to conquer your day? Hey, right, ready? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Fired up, boy. That's because AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports your body's universal needs like gut optimization, stress management, and immune support. Since 2010, AG1 has led the future of foundational nutrition continuously refining their formula to create a smarter, better way to elevate your baseline health. Not only do you replace that multivitamin or the 400 different vitamins you got, every scoop's going to have all that in it because it's got prebiotics, probiotics, and digestive enzymes for gut support, vitamin C and zinc to help support your immune health. 
adaptogens to help balance your body stress levels. I recommend it to everybody I know. I know Philip McMillan's been drinking it. His wife drinks it. We all love it. AG1 is a supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily, and that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership over your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. Check it out. And one scoop will do it. I mean, he just come up to us and ate grapes out of our hand. Like, there, we there go. he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's eating the pansies. Yep. <laughs> just mowing them down. If and you he, thought Martin hey, was a liar. <laughs> and he is hammering them. I'm talking about. You know, there's people that live in parts of the world that think we're just like wild. Like we had an alligator on the playground last week. Mm -hmm. Now we've got deers with tags in their ears eating our flower beds. I oh. think it's 145. I know it's an orange tag and it's very noticeable. Uh, oh, so. no. No, 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 West I, Monroe, give him a pass. Yeah. I was going to tell you about Get my some buddy. vanilla wafers. This kid wasn't about to give him a pass, Martin. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Our ninja. Our ninja, Our ninja with his football <laughs> and his little plastic sword yeah. knife or whatever. Yeah. We got ninjas out here, hunt. That's What's, crazy. It It is one of the wildest. A buddy of mine, things. he is a big deer hunter, right? They bought a new home in a subdivision. Okay, and it's brand new. Okay. And his wife loved flowers, so she had a beautiful flower bed. He comes back from hunting. He's been out on the stand all day freezing his butt off, okay? There's a big, giant eight-point laying in her flower bed. Uh -oh. He's actually raising the back of his tr uh, truck to get his rifle. <laughs> and she comes out and runs him off, runs the eight-point off. He said, woman, that's my near grounds for divorce. Oh, Lord. He said, yeah, but you was fixed to shoot him. He said, yeah, I was fixed to shoot him. I've been deer hunting all season and ain't even seen a deer. Yeah. And he said, I come home and got an eight point, a good one in my flower bed. Yeah, I was going to shoot him. Yeah, I would just file that under God provides. Like, no, I've seen no, way no. more deer in my yard than I have uh, in the place where I try to hunt. Mom, same way. You know, she's a flower nut and raises all them things. And oh. they finally... Got her so mad that last year she opened season on him <laughs> for me. It's kind of surreal shooting yeah. a deer in your mom's yard. Yeah. In yeah, the yard of the house that yeah. you grew up in and yeah. just killing a doe. I yeah. did. Yeah. With did my it? bow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I hunted out of the old, yeah. like the old toy Thomas, house. You got the green, yeah. You got the green light to, you know, get rid of these varmints. Yeah. I had me a ground blind already <laughs> set up. <laughs> Whacked her. <laughs> Their biggest downfall is they taste good. Hey, that's it. They are that's, delicious. They are fantastic to eat. I highly recommend it. Yep. But yeah. it is. No, I don't know. We're going into what time change. How I do it. Y'all have raised kids. What's time change like on these kids? Like this will be our last year. It didn't really matter because they were, we were having to feed them every three hours regardless. So like the day just kind of ran into the next one. Wasn't a big deal. Now they have like a. Pretty set schedule. So what, what? What's this hour? We're gonna, gonna I'm going to let President Predicto tell you what's about to happen, and I have no idea what he's going to say. I'm very excited about this. I have absolutely no doubt. I have absolutely no doubt. It's going to be awful. Uh, really? Uh, the time uh, change. I don't know if it was Benjamin Franklin or Satan himself that came up with the idea of like just switching the clocks every now and again for fun. <laughs> but I, I hate the person that did. So if we just act like the time didn't change, though? That's what you need to do. But then you're stuck. Yeah, yeah. but then what's reality, it gonna do? reality is going to set in. Because yeah. then your kids Something are going to... Something has changed. What time do your kids wake up? <laughs> right now, between 6.30 and 7. Yeah, so between 5.30 and 6 is what it's just going to be. Okay. And then you got to just work to get them back to 6.30 and 7. Okay, yeah. So then the, the nights or that witching hour is about to be extended for a few days. Like to oh, get yeah. on witching hour yeah. is the proper term. Is yeah. to the to because only witches would come up with something like just changing the clock. Well, that last hour anyway that they're awake is always Russian roulette. Like you don't you don't know what you gonna get. <laughs> yeah, like, you could get the happiest two kids ever made, or you could get the yeah. What most, is wrong with these people? But you know, because we try. Well, it, if you they're know, happy, you just keep them up. That's exactly right. But when they get mad, you try to lay them down, and then they just fight it, and you have to listen to them scream in a dark room for a little while. So it's the worst. I like it when you go in there when they're happy and you lay them down, like ours. When you're happy, when they're happy and you lay them down, they're asleep in five minutes. Like boom, done. Five minutes. Yeah, like oh, they're they're quick. But when they go to bed angry, 
it's like 30 to 40 minutes before they're yeah the, uh, you gotta have time for the adjustment yeah yeah i was wondering how sunday was gonna <laughs> oh, no. be what yeah. are, are what are we done with it is this the end of it what time change you know every year some politician makes some promise and i believe them and I'm done believing politicians. Oh, we're not done with it. I thought Louisiana was one of the states that opted out of it. We did. But the problem is... The rest of the world didn't. I think it's totally ridiculous. Okay. I think it's totally that's, ridiculous. That's the answer. That totally ridiculous. They say it and then it doesn't happen. Yeah. So allegedly, we're waiting for the whole... Co- uh, Louisiana's like, hey, we're in if the whole country's in. Oh. It's garbage. Yeah, be a leader. It's going to be dark at like... F- 515 yeah. and i know some of you people where it's different than me you're gonna be like well if they don't change it'll be dark at 415 here well move yeah i want what's best for me because i'm selfish yeah <laughs> aren't we all yeah i'm sorry no, I mean, yeah. it hey, is sorry weird because i do understand there's like in montana like in the summer it is it stays light the weird time so like 10 o'clock i yeah. feel like yeah. if we all just stick to one time everything will be good i agree no i i like this morning, I woke up at 5.30 just because. I was like, man, it's dark. And it didn't get daylight till 7. Now I got to think about it. Like when the time changes, I'd have really just woke up at 4.30, which feels miserable. But when you wake up at 5.30, you're like, oh, this ain't that bad. It's, good time to it's start a day. mental deal. Like if I could wake up at 5.30 to 6 o'clock every day to go duck hunting, you would be in such a better mood oh, no. than it, the thought of having to set your alarm for 4 a.m. And you're like, oh, no, this sucks. Like, What gets me is I get off work at 6, and when it's dark, that's when it's like. Oh, you're going to have to take a flashlight to your truck. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man, it's going to be oh, dark. Yeah. No, yeah. it's dark. Dark, dark. dark. Yeah. yeah. It's nighttime when I get off work. Yeah. And it's just like, this stinks. Yeah, there's You nothing. get home, and you're like, well, You can't night. do anything. Yeah. You can't and, play basketball. You can't play pickleball. Yeah. That's you can't out. play hopscotch in the driveway. It's mm. just dark. Time change. <laughs> Whenever I'm president, if what a you bunch people of garbage. vote for me, I'm going to get rid of the time change and make two time zones. All right. Now, yeah. is this. That's what, it. Which one There's is. Eastern and Western. Which Combine one is them. technically daylight savings? What we're going into, or is this one at ends? No, we're, in we're in daylight savings so, because we get more daylight. Yeah. Okay. But they want to make daylight savings permanent. We get more daylight. There's At the, the end same of the amount day. of daylight. At the end of the day. I don't know, Martin. There's the same amount of Wait daylight. We're no matter what daylight the clock savings say. right now? We're no, te- we're not. Technically, we're in daylight savings. Whenever we change the clock, we'll be in standard rig time. Standard rig. I don't think it's technically called standard rig. So we just need to pick standard rig. Yeah, and we're picking daylight savings. We're picking the summertime. We want light when we get off work. I agree. Okay, I was just making sure I was on the right side of this. You know yes. what we need to I, know? What? I want the one we're in now. What does former President Donald Trump say? We're going to have to take this away from me. I don't know, to be uh, honest. He don't know. Come on, man. <laughs> Never. Come hey, on. He don't know. I need you to take a stand on this. But hey, you're oppressed. You need to know. Speaking of Donald Trump, did you did you? Oh, happen- whoa, what, this is the wrong podcast. No, no, no. Did you happen <laughs> to see Jason Aldean's? Did he try and save change daylight savings time in a small no, town? No, but did you see his Halloween post where he, him and his wife dressed up as a presidential debate? If you haven't, it's rich, man. You need to watch that. Well, that's a. Oh, is it and a look, video? Jason is a. I, I consider Jason a friend, so this isn't just me plugging a friend. <laughs> it is funny. Is it just a picture? Or is the whole video? No, it's a video. It's okay. about a two minute watch. Oh, okay. So we can take a break and you can watch it because everybody needs to laugh. <laughs> and if you don't laugh at what they did and how good of a Donald Trump Al Dean was. Is he that good at it? Wow. Yeah. Let's take a break. I'll let you uh, watch it. Yeah. Then, I want to watch it. Uh. All right. Look, the holidays are here. So saving money, this is a tough time to do it. But you need to do it. That way you can have a big old fashioned Christmas. There you go. And the easiest way to do it is with our friends over at Rocket Money. Rocket Money let me know that my gas bill went up three three dollars last month. Really? Yeah, which is good because it's about to skyrocket because it's cold outside. So it 
Oh, your gas at home. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was thinking fuel. Yeah. I don't know. I was like, how do they know that your fuel is doing that? But that's your, you're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. They check They check your bills. They check your subscriptions. They let you know where you, they're going to let you know exactly where you're spending your money and when it stuff changes, they give you an alert. It's a great way to stay on budget. Hey, I, yeah, I can appreciate that. And and it is. Your, your gas bill, the, I, I can't wait to see the next one because it's cold out there right now. They got so, that heat cranking up. Yeah, there. We, got the, we got the first cold for another year. So they're probably going to be like, alert, alert, alert. Alert. <laughs> but that is a cool thing. And, you know, there's like something like 80% of people have subscription they've forgotten about. So, because you want the one show that everybody's talking about or to watch the one game or to do the thing. And then you forget about it. And then, boom, you get clipped for whatever that fee is. Well, our friends over at Rocket Money let you know, hey, you just got charged for this. You haven't been charged for it. Do you want to keep doing it? And if you don't, they can take care of that for you. They do it. Click of a button. I'm you about to. Cancel NFL Plus right now. I was about to say, don't cancel your gas because it went up. It's like old out there. You're going to need that. Yeah, you're going to need. There's some things you just do with and, and call it good. But Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills all in one place. Because most people are like, yeah, I got, you know, 70, 80 bucks in subscriptions when it's really and truly for most people more like 200 So you start putting that money back in your pocket a month. I mean, that's, that's big time savings. You can... You can get that extra thing for Christmas if you want. With Rocket Money, you can easily cancel the ones you don't want with just the press of a button like we were talking about. You don't have to be on long hold times, no annoying customer service email back and forth. None of that. Click a button. It's done. Rocket Money does all the work for you. Rocket Money can even negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money also lets you monitor all your expenses in one place, not just some of them, all of them. Recommends custom budgets based on your past spending. And they'll send you notifications when you've reached your spending limits. With over 5 million users and counting, Rocket Money has helped its customers save an average of $720 a year and $1 billion in total savings. Look, stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel unwanted subscriptions now and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. Rocketmoney.com slash duck. I like it because they didn't take a side. Like, they just straight blasted both of them. And to me, that's funny. Oh, no. Like, yeah. It's funny to be able to do something political but not pick a side and just make fun of everybody. Like, that's the world we need to get back to, where everybody make fun of everybody. Nobody get their feelings hurt. Like, we just all laugh with each other. Because I don't care. What's that? that was funny. No, that's funny. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's funny. I mean, we should, we should be a political podcast. We're going into... No, nah, I'm just kidding. No, because the sad <laughs> part is nobody can have fun with it. Like there, nope. there, you have to for whatever reason pick a side, and you have to fight for it. Well, no, it's no, like, yeah. I mean, we can't just discuss things. Like, why not? Why can't we have open yeah. forums? Yeah. Because you know what? Yeah, look at all the pros and cons. And yeah, okay. what does it matter? And then what are we going to do? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, like for us, I mean, I think an example would be like when somebody says they're atheist or agnostic like i don't immediately hate them i don't like i don't pick a side and i'm like man that's bad I like i, I'm I don't i don't you. start yelling at them i'm like hey man i believe I'm in jesus right. i'd, I'd yeah. love i'd you know i'd like yeah. it if you'd listen but yeah. if you don't like yeah. that's your right that's your i'm not no, I'm that's not why here. this is the greatest country on earth yeah okay thank you because no. for years we've been able to do that yeah yeah. And just everybody just kind of get along. Well, I can't see. I really can't see and understand your your viewpoint. Yeah, but dude, but you have that right. Yeah, but, amen. But well, dude, yeah. Well, used to well, Saturday Night Live was even a good show because they made fun of George. I mean, remember Dana Carvey? Yeah, that dude was hilarious. Oh. He took on it, but it wasn't like we have to make these jokes to make our point. It was we're going to make jokes to be funny. Be funny. But now people can't be funny. They have to like be funny and take a stand for some reason when it's way funnier to just say the Republican dirty tricks team yeah. <laughs> leader and talking dogs. Like that was hilarious. Uh, but now, yeah. you know, it's the Republican dirty tricks team because we're not allowed to eat beef or something. Yeah. No. It's and not. that crazy girl with the eyes. Is Saturday night live still on? Yeah, I think so. But it? it sucks. Yeah. I don't know. That I, died when, I don't know. Yeah. It's not as good. Dana Carvey needs to come back. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know it was still a Well, thing. yeah, hey, some people can tell them and some people can't. Tell what? Yeah. Jokes. Right, jokes. Yeah. 
You Chris know, Rock's people, hilarious. Yeah, somebody, somebody, you know, some of them are good. Hey, and then, hey, some of them, hey, that ain't your bag. Don't, don't go there. <laughs> yeah. You know, you need to, you like Papa, you need to get a new bag, okay? Because <laughs> cause the one you got ain't working. <laughs> I did not. said he ain't on that bag. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have Sai saying that ain't your bag. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's just, you know, hey, some people are good at stuff, okay? Some that's people, fantastic. You know, don't go there, okay? It ain't, it ain't for you. It ain't for you. Yeah. I agree. I'm not an actor. No, hey. I, I'm not. So I don't try to act. I don't. No. I can't play the guitar. Hey. I didn't start a band. Hey. Yeah. Like I mean, they're just yeah. I, I started a band. And I still can't play guitar. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yours was less of a band and more of an experience. So hey. I was wondering. I was like a show. <laughs> no, I yeah. experience is the right yeah. word. Yeah. It's hey, an I'm like the the Barnum and uh, what Ring Brothers. Ringling Brothers. The yeah, what the it, what it was, okay. oh, I believe it's the barn. I, it was actually, hey, you come and hey, you was entertained. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like the greatest showman. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, this is the it. greatest show. Um, they should make a movie like that about you. <laughs> Zach Dasher, if you're listening, we would like a musical <laughs> about Sai's life as the sequel to The Blind. Thank you. You heard it here first. Please leave a note in the comments said, if you hey, would like to see a like sequel dislike. of The Blind of Sai Robertson's life in musical form. But the person to play Sai is going to have to be very Mary Poppins-esque. Like, I need that same energy because that's, I mean, let's, Sai is basically supercalifragilistic expialidocious. What was that guy in Mary like. Poppins? I Dick Van Dyke. Know. Yeah, he could have played Sai fantastically. There you go, but we need the we need the life. We need the joy. We need the all the things that come out of Sai. Like that. Yeah. Dick Van Dyke's still alive. Is he? Yeah. He's ninety seven. Yeah. So I don't think he's gonna no. play you in the musical. But Sai's going for a hundred. Hey, so I'm shooting for a hundred, boys. There hey. you go. I can appreciate. Who that. would play Sai in a musical? Usher. <laughs> <laughs> for real. That, <laughs> hey, that would be good. Pharrell would be good at it. See? Okay, I, hey, he gets my vote. Okay, there you go. So, <laughs> no, he, he's got the high energy, boy. It's only hey. based on true events. Yeah, yeah. Hey. like some okay. of the characters can be changed a little. Yeah, hey, ninety-five percent, boys. Hey, go creative with. license. Yeah. <laughs> <Man. laughs> uh, because size happy. I uh, mean, like, yeah, I don't know. Life's too short not to be, boys. Oh, man. Hey, it man. goes by too fast. Also, we are going into political season, and remember that. Ugh. Life's too short, so no matter how many things you get in your mailbox. What, election day is next week, ain't it? Oh, no. For, like, like the official, like, for all the runoffs and oh, stuff yeah. that happened and... And all that stuff. It's what next Tuesday or something. Like, I gotta be honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell a bad thing on myself. What? I did not vote in the last election that was like a month ago. Really? I didn't. I got so much mail and so much stuff, and I was like, I know who I'm voting for. Whatever. I'm moving. It. Like, okay, good. But it was in so many text messages, and so many times my phone would ring and it would say political call, and I would ignore it. That I started to just ignore everything because i was so annoyed with it all and then by the time and then sunday happened and then i like, woke oh. up and i and i was like oh my goodness i, I, I felt I terrible even, yeah i don't even, i didn't even go vote because i didn't go because i didn't know what day i thought it was in november and it was in october we don't have a lot left to vote on i don't think i know no. but i'm gonna go this time yeah. because i feel so bad about <laughs> yeah i think uh, a lot just of just skipping on the last one but it was an accident i'm pretty sure a lot of ours ended up winning outright like didn't even have to no, yeah, we got not a many new that went, yeah there's not many that went to a runoff we got a new governor mr governor if you're listening i have uh, advice on how to fix the fishing and hunting license disaster that the previous governor has let happen i doubt you're listening mr governor but i'm here for you well, go ahead and say folks tell, but, tell but it's a, but it's a small local tackle shop yep. let me help you oh yeah. we i could do it tp outdoors is with me <laughs> we're tired of what y'all have done That's yeah say right. yeah license vendors yeah you yeah, yeah. They messed it all up. You need to but do, leave it hey, to the government yeah. to mess everything up. Oh, if it's not broke, go. don't fool with it. Here we go. See oh. what the prayer's got. <laughs> See, hold on. <laughs> Beth is panicking because we're talking about politics. Here's our last political statement of the day. I don't know, to be honest. See? Right, I hey, hey, that's us that's on right. politics. And there's that's a right. lot of truth to that. Let's that's take right. a break. That's right. right. Hello at duckcallroom.com. That's where we're at. We're in the inbox. It's my favorite email inbox. It's way better than my regular one. Okay. Yeah, no bills come to this one. 
And what you got in there? Every once in a while, somebody has to remind us. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, here's one of my favorite things that ever happens. Um, the subject line is, in a Duck Dynasty episode. Uh-oh. Okay. So you never know. Y'all talked about eating crazy weird things on a podcast. <laughs> on an episode of Duck Dynasty, this is from James, by the way, doesn't say where he's from. On an episode of Duck Dynasty, they went to buy wood decoys from a guy for $1,000 a piece. Oh, Skippy Coo Yawn. Yeah. And they talked about hanging a duck until the inside liquefied, then drinking it from its rear end. Is this really a thing? I'm pretty sure that somewhere there are people that do that. I think it's an Eskimo thing. Yeah. Inuit, Eskimo. Yeah. yeah. I think that's where Phil got yeah. it from. And Skippy yeah. Coo Yawn probably does it. No. I would I do it? <laughs> would I do it? The answer is no. Yeah. No. Okay. Definitely no. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. Are there people that do it? I, I, there are. I think there are. Yeah. Yeah. I, th like, I think I, it's Eskimo or I'm Inuit, pretty, some, yeah, some Native sure. American up in Alaska, yeah. Canada, yeah. That, that area. I think Wouldn't I that be a Native Canadian? Well, I mean, right. I think it's all Just considered checking. North America. I don't think it was. Is, I don't oh, think. It, I don't think it was Kanata, Kanata That's right. before. Not Kanata. I think they were all just American, Native North American. Wow! <laughs> Just yeah. learned something, people. That's but, right. Hey. I mean, that's my guess. I don't. I don't know. So there's that. not Native. Hey. Well, yeah, because you never hear of Native Mexicans either. Well, yeah. no, no. So he said it honestly. It's wow. his guess. It's his guess. I'm just guessing. He, and hey, he, you know, ain't a theory. This is a guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, how probably about just it? safest to just call them natives. That's right. Hey, native. Native, you got it. The native, the indigenous, if you will. The That's indigenous, right. hey. if yeah. you will. All right. All right. And then this is, I might have got the wildest email we've ever got. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've I'm, had some now. I yeah. mean, I'm telling you, but it gives hope for people like me and you, Martin, although we don't technically need it because okay. we are married. Okay. Um, LB, she didn't want to throw her name on this one. LB. Just curious, is Burley single? I hope so. This Iowa lady thinks he is hot. Okay. I'm for it, LB, because I feel like I got a good chance of looking a lot like Burley one day, but Burley's a happily married man. Yeah. Hate and, to tell you, and she whoop you too. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I'm just telling yeah, you, she's kind of on the feisty, L feisty side. LB, I'm just telling you, proceed yeah. with caution. Yeah, proceed yeah. with caution. Because uh, you, Burley ain't gonna lay a hand on you, but his woman whoop. You. <laughs> now, I'm just telling you, like that's us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whenever I had my EKG done the other day, it was a Abby, his daughter, also a mm -hmm. nurse. I was like. She was like, if you just lift up your shirt, I got to say, well, this doesn't have to be awkward. We only went to church together our whole lives and know each other. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Burley's daughter. This is weird. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, their whole family, you you don't play uh, tight end and defensive end. No, he played linebacker. Yeah. yeah. For the University of Oklahoma without, you know. Back in the day. Back in yeah. the day. Okay. Yeah, like. When the, they were. Back you know. in their dynasty day. Yeah, I'm not saying they weren't athletes because Burley's yeah. very much an athlete, yep. but it was a different. They were tougher. The biggest, yeah. Yeah. toughest played yeah. those positions, and Burley yeah. is a big strapping. Speed wasn't necessarily the deal. No. And so I no. would just – spread offense wasn't a thing. LB, I would let you just know his whole family. Big. They're ready. Yeah, they ready. <laughs> like, they'll put their hands in the dirt and scratch gravel with you. Yeah. I'll tell you that right now. Scratch gravel. And, I, yeah. and speaking of their hands, if they ever laid their hands on you, you were in trouble. Yeah. Burley got some okay. big hands. Yeah, Burley <laughs> hold a basketball like this, no problem. And then, uh, moving on, because I'm scared of Burley. Uh, not really. Burley's the nicest man in the world. We, we've we really missed a mark on this podcast. About what? Of We have fans email in, and we have never done a contest for Uncle Si as Halloween, and we should have. Oh, we have a bunch of them? Do you know how many pictures of babies I have received? Oh, that's fantastic. Dressed as Uncle Si? Huh. On a little four wheeler too. That's cool. Uh, he's not allowed to drive his own four wheeler anymore, but that baby still is. Yeah. So, how many people do you think on this earth have dressed up for you and gone and asked strangers for candy? Uh, a whole bunch. But since you fucked that up, I got a story to tell you. I may have told it before. I come home and I've got a picture in my hand. It's me. Up in a tree with a Daisy BB gun. 
Okay, so I'm I'm thinking. Okay, wait a minute. When did I do something for Daisy BB Gun? Because I don't remember getting a check from him. <laughs> you know, so I'm talking to myself in my recliner. And then finally, I can't stand. It. I said, "Baby," and she said, "What?" Christine said, "What?" I said, "When did I ever do a or did I ever do a commercial or something with Daisy BB Gun?" Well, you would think, yo, know, it's like a chicken. If make it, she starts laughing right out loud, and just uncontrollably. Well, this goes on. This conversation goes on another thirty minutes, and finally, she couldn't take. Christine couldn't take it anymore. And she come in there and tapped me on the shoulder. And said, she said, "You're so stupid." And I said, "Wait a minute. Hey, all I'm doing is ask you some questions. Why have I got to just become stupid all of a sudden?" She said, "Because that ain't you." She said, that's a little girl dressed up as you. Oh. And I said, well, she ought to won first prize. And I said, because I was positive that was me. So if we ever have that <laughs> so, contest. Yeah, because yeah. if you ever have had that contest, okay, because look, fans come up all the time and say, you know, and especially the mother, you know, tell me this is my daughter. And then turns around and their daughter is next to her and her daughter is a full-grown woman now. Okay, and this was like when she was six, the picture was. That's crazy. You know, so it's insane. I do have some stuff that was in my office, by the way. All right, you oh, get that. I'm going to show out, one more he's picture. He's bringing out sex. That first one was from uh, uh, <laughs> Donald, and then this one is from Kate, Kate and Cy from Clinton, Illinois. This poor baby is dressed up as Cy, and his name is Silas. <laughs> <laughs> and he brand new, <laughs> but he got a feel scowl on his oh, face. Oh, well, hey, and he's mad. He's got a. <laughs> he needs an attitude adjustment. Yeah, yeah, probably because okay. they yeah. named him Cy and they dressed well, him. Hey, it, made him it made him mad. So, I mean, he didn't have no choice in it. But we got some coffee from the Pulaski Brewing Company Ooh. out of Georgia. Well, we give that. We'll send down that down there to the uh, Cypress Creek. Yeah, it's strong, or it smells strong. Okay, yeah, I, I think they Phil will enjoy that. And then I don't know who sent this to us, but uh oh, thank you. Somebody sent Halloween candy. Uh oh, so, yeah, and uh oh, yo, all of there. Everybody says the drink sweet tea. Hey, look, quit sending all these stupid M and M's and Reese's. We can't do not listen to him. That's pure sugar for do out not loud. listen to him. <laughs> you send it. You don't have to eat it. Every time I, we get on a snack kick, yes, I, I gain like they fifteen it. pounds. So oh, good I'm kind of with him at this point. I well, got lose. What's well, funny is Angela, who works up front for us and brings me all the boxes and stuff. She and opened that one. Yeah. No, it was already busted <laughs> open, and I said, "Well, happy Halloween, Angela. Get you a couple of them." So she grabbed. She said, "Oh, I like these," and she grabbed her a couple of. Yeah, it was just it come busted open. Those I mean, are you the can trees. tell that's not intentionally done. Those but. are peanut butter okay. trees. There, I like that. Yeah. Well, any shape is better than the cup. Because the peanut butter to chocolate ratio is way better on the shapes than it is the cup. So you're not wrong. More peanut butter. You're a Reese's aficionado. I am. We got time for one more. Go ahead, fire one more at it. Do we want to talk about our favorite tacos or duck hunting in Georgia? Not duck hunting in Georgia. Why would anybody want to talk about duck hunting in Georgia? No. Nobody wants to go shoot woodies in a beaver pond. Uh, well, that's oh, not, well, let's talk about it. That's then. not uh, true. <laughs> because they want to take their uncle duck hunting for his birthday. Uh, they live in Georgia, so the ducks just ain't good here. Yep. Um, Agreed. They're looking to take them to Arkansas or Louisiana public land, not hiring a guide. They're just winging it. Martin, any suggestions? If you go in public, go to Arkansas because the public land is better. Yep. Uh, and the hunting is better. However. However. Lots but, of rules, lots of regulations, yeah. and know that the fine folks of Arkansas don't want you there. So don't expect a very giving and forthcoming attitude from them. Good night, Arkansas. They're the ones that limited days of non-residents. non -res If you don't live in Arkansas, you can only hunt public like 20 or 30 days now. That's it. Can't hunt the 60. Oh, well, if you don't live there, how that. are you supposed to hunt more than 30 days anyway? No. Well, because there's a lot of people like me, and I don't. But uh, Crossing I'm, that border. Yeah, I mean, it's a two-hour drive. Like, it's not. So you can only hunt Arkansas. 20 days a on year? W, on state owned land. The federales didn't get on board with it. So, like, if you want to hunt a, a national wildlife refuge, you can. It's just, oh, this man land. just said the federales didn't yeah, get the on board. The federales didn't get on board with it. But the state guys did. And that's where all of the, like, a lot of the locals hunt, you know, like, I mean, 
Bayou Mita, Dave Donaldson, Black River. I mean, there's all the the Cash River. Like there's 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 all kinds of of Arkansas public land opportunities. But like Louisiana public land, to be fair, just kind of sucks. Like because we rarely have our pumps working, and we everybody's out of money, and and there's <laughs> Colby Dark sitting at the duck. Uh-huh. Brand, yeah, there's just not two a.m. waiting on the one good spot to go. There's just not as many opportunities. I, I've hunted both, and I still hunt both. I'm just there's way more opportunities for public land hunting in Arkansas than there is. But it's just like this is going to be like a one or two day thing. Yeah, I'd go to Arkansas. Martin, send him to Arkansas. I mean, if you want to kill mallards, you can come down here and shoot some woodies. But you can do that at home. You can so, do that in Georgia. Yeah, don't don't come here to shoot woodies. Like crap. That's my suggestion, but. Anyway, favorite taco? Nothing to add. Same All thing. of them. All yeah. of them. Some guy wants us to go to San Antonio. Hold on. Where's it at? Yeah, do it. Tim from San Antonio says, in the debate, if you're picking up tacos from Texas, where are you stopping, San Antonio or Austin? San Antonio. Absolutely. But I have to drive through Austin, so I may grab a couple to get me to San Antonio. So. I might even stop in Houston. I love tacos. Yeah, tacos are the good. The tacos in Austin aren't so bad either. Yeah, but they're not San Antonio. Hunter coming from the top rope. Oh, he said the movie theater tacos. All right, this is what I'm leaving you with. No, no, <laughs> oh, no, that's it. No, yeah. we're gonna kick it no. out of here with a Bible verse. First Thessalonians <laughs> five. I'm gonna read a whole bunch of verses. Starts in sixteen. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on to what is good and reject every kind of evil. That's just a bunch of good stuff to live by right there, people. We hope you had a great October. We're going to have a great November. Hunting season's almost here, and we're going to keep churning this podcast out. Amen, buddy. See y'all next time.